Hi, we're the Red Hot Chili Pipers and we're looking forward to coming back to Germany to rock your socks off in 2015. Yeah! Yeah! I think when we first started, not in our wildest dreams, would we end up being where we are today. When we first started, it was just normal guys having a bit of fun getting together, essentially trying to make some money uh, while we were at college and university and just starting new jobs in professional arena. And now we're at the stage where we have three touring bands, we've got over 50 people involved in the business. It's an amazing success story for Scottish traditional instrumentation. Um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers have heard of us actually. We played at uh, Tea in the Park a year before they headlined it and they were asked if they had uh, they'd heard about us playing with the darkness and uh, they commented that they heard we were better than the darkness in the previous year on the main stage so they're certainly aware of us. We've got a, a few uh, high profile fans actually, Ewan McGregor, uh, Samuel L. Jackson and also Ed Sheeran. I've been known to be comment on the band and played with us as well uh, on the MTV Awards. So uh, that's good fun to know that people are behind us. Well, I think we're, wherever we go, we always get positive feedback, you know, no matter the age of the, the fans that come to see us. Um, we try to make it quite a personal show, you know, we change it up every time, make sure no show's the same, get the fans get to meet us and it just you know, enhances the, the personal kind of musical experience of the, the people that come and see us. But all ages, wouldn't you agree? Like, depending on where we play, we've had people from three to four years old up to 84, 90 years old come to see us in America, you know? So, I, bad rock appeals to everybody. <laughs> my favourite part's actually, at the end of the show, you get to have a beer with everyone, you know, just have a laugh with all the fans and just chill out after the show. Especially in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> well, without our fans, we wouldn't be able to go back to Germany, what, is it going to be our fifth, sixth time now? So, yeah, it's great to have so many good fans. We have been, and the answer most of us give is the future of Scotland. Hey guys, the ladies dared me to come over and ask. What are you laughing? <laughs> what do you have on under the kilt? What do we, what do we have on under the kilt? Hi, Katie Bowman. <laughs> well, on the bagpipes, we're restricted to nine notes, so we can't play every song like on the bagpipes. So we're restricted to what we can do, but we like to mix it up. We play bagpipe songs, we play rock songs, and we mix them all together to play a genre that we call bag rock. I think it's quite paramount to our, our sound is that fusion of. I don't know, like contemporary rock, pop music to traditional music, and I like to say we do quite well. Yeah. I think also, like, the bagpipes is a technically difficult instrument in its own right, just to even play. Not only do you have to have good technical fingering, you've got to breathe properly, and not only that, we add the nice component of uh, jumping on stage and trying to control when we're jumping. So, yeah, if we could have picked any instrument to uh, join in with our rock band, bagpipes would have probably been last on the list, <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah, it's where we've ended up. <laughs> 